What's going on guys? Before you skip ahead in the video, please listen to a little bit of news that I have for you guys. A couple of big changes have happened. First off, I'd like to mention that I now have the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard. And I also got the brand new Razer Basilisk Ultimate, the wireless edition. Later on, I plan on doing a review and unboxing of the Razer Huntsman Elite. And I also plan on comparing the Huntsman Elite with my Black Widow Chroma V2. Trust me, there's positives and negatives for each one. So you're gonna wanna stick around and see what that's all about. Also, the second big change is that I'm no longer going to be using Dropbox. I actually have a brand new website called unrealhero.com. All of my lighting designs are going to be downloadable from that website. So the website is actually a work in progress but it's going to have the tutorials on there as well. It's going to have a preview of what the keyboard lighting design looks like. And it's also going to have a one click download button on there. And it's just as easy as Dropbox, if not even easier. Now that I got that out of the way for this lighting design, it is the season. So I decided to start making some holiday lighting designs for you guys. This one more specifically Christmas. What I did with this design is I made a green keyboard lighting design with some Christmas lights that go around. Also in the center of this keyboard lighting design, it spells out the words Merry Christmas. As always, I will leave a link in the description below where you can download this profile design. But if you wanna see how I made it, stick around. I'm gonna show you just that. This is Tis the Season. All right guys, so this is how you do Tis the Season. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new wave layer down on the bottom left. Just click on wave. And we're gonna get rid of spectrum cycling here, so delete that out. Now, using this wave layer, I'm going to hold control and I'm gonna zoom in on my keyboard. Now that I'm on my keyboard here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just select every third key around my keyboard so i'm gonna hold i'm gonna select the escape key i'm gonna hold control and just continue selecting every third key so skip two and then click on one skip two click one and just do this all the way around your keyboard so this is what it's going to look like go ahead and click on your color gradient drop down and we're going to choose this five node wave right here click on the middle node and delete that one we're going to drag this one over and we're just going to cut this bar into like thirds. So uh, you can see up here it's cut into thirds. This first node we're going to make red. Second node we're going to make green. And the last node here we're going to make blue. So you should have three sections of red, green, and blue. That looks good. I'm going to click off of that. I'm going to angle my pattern down at about 180 degrees and everything else can stay the same and we'll hit save. Now click on your escape key and control C and copy that. And we're just gonna, once again, hold control and start selecting every key after the one we set. So I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna go after that one, after that one, after that one, do this all the way around the keyboard, just like this. Now we're gonna paste that effect in there and we're going to click on our color drop down and we're going to shift these colors to the left. So this is going to be green. This is going to turn to blue. And this is going to be red. And we're going to hit save. So now there's just one more color to do. We're going to copy that one we did previously. And we're just going to select all the ones that don't have an effect on it around our keyboard. Just like that. Paste it. And once again, we're gonna shift the colors one more time. Just like that and hit save. So now you have like a Christmas light effect going around your keyboard. Also with this wave layer, what we're gonna do is we are going to select the inside keys that do not have an effect on them. We're gonna click on our color drop down on that and we're gonna choose this three node pattern right here. Click on my middle node here and I'm just gonna drag it to a little bit darker. I'm gonna copy that code, 
click on my first node, paste that in there, and I'm gonna drag it a little bit darker, just like that. Copy that and paste that into the last one, just like that. I'm also going to use the split option here so I have like some kind of wave pattern kind of dividing the middle of the keyboard there. With this design, I have some red lighting that spells Merry Christmas. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but you can watch my video for how to spell words using keyboard lighting, which I'll leave in the description below. I'll also leave a tag for it up at the top. Also with this design, I used a really subtle ripple effect. So because my green is darker in the middle, I added a ripple layer and I selected these middle keys here and I just made it a single bright green color just like this and hit save. So now when you touch the middle of your keyboard, there is a, a really slight green ripple effect in the middle. Also with this lighting effect, I added a reactive. This will be our top layer. And with the reactive layer, I actually selected all of my keys. And for the reactive layer, I just chose a red color. And you can hit save there. So now if you touch a key, it'll turn red, but it will also cause a ripple effect on your keyboard. And that's all there is for this design. If you guys have peripherals, I'll show you what I did for that. If you guys have the Razer Huntsman Elite, then what I did for my surrounding lighting is I clicked on my wave layer here. And what you wanna do is copy the wave effect you put on the outside and starting from the middle going over, you can paste that in there and angle it over to the left, just like this. So you can see it's kind of starting to go around to the left. We're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste that over here on the left side as well. And we're gonna angle this left side down at 180. So you can see it's, your lighting is starting to go like around the keyboard. Copy that and we're gonna just paste that into this bottom half here. And we're gonna angle that over at 90 degrees so you can see you got some Christmas lighting that kind of goes around your keyboard and starts to head towards the center. Now we're gonna do the opposite on the top here. So I'm just gonna select these top keys. I'm gonna paste in that wave and we're gonna angle this at 90 degrees. Just like that. And we're going to select this right side and paste in that wave again we can leave it down at the 180 angle, that's fine. And we're gonna select these ones, paste that in there, and just turn this one over to 270. So you can see the outside of my Huntsman now has a lighting effect that goes around the keyboard and it basically intersects with each other at the bottom. Also with that same lighting of lighting effect, I pasted that into the zones on my gaming mouse and I just put that at 180 degrees as well. And likewise with the scroll wheel and the razor logo there. With my other peripherals, I pretty much did the same thing. But yeah, that's all I did for this design guys. If you guys wanna know the word spelling, like I said, it'll be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And here's the preview of what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on future keyboard lighting videos. As always, you can follow me on my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, and you can even find me on Twitch. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.